Thinking aloud is a simple, tried and true tool that provides a ton of valuable user research insights. Simply put, it's where we ask participants to continuously verbalize their thoughts as they go about using an interface during a usability test. If it sounds a little awkward, that's because it kind of is, right? It's not really natural for people to keep a running monologue going about everything they're doing, like there's some kind of chef demonstrating how to make a sweet potato casserole on live TV. So here are three things you can do to help participants think aloud effectively. First, tell participants what it is and tell them why it's useful. No one's gonna start automatically verbalizing what they're doing for you without a little priming. So say something like, as you shop or work or whatever it is, it's very helpful for me if you think aloud during the process. And that just means verbalizing what you're doing, what you're looking for, telling me your reactions, things you like or don't like, or any other thoughts that you have. All of that is incredibly useful to me to hear, just so I can understand your thought process. It's also really helpful to give a little demonstration so they can just see it in action. Just look around, pick up whatever's around you. Say I've got a calculator here and say, hey, here's what I mean by thinking aloud. I'm interested in doing some math, so I'm gonna use this calculator. It's nice and solid, even though it's nice and light when I pick it up, right? I really like the weight of it. And when I, ooh, when I clack on those buttons, that sound is really nice to hear. Uh, but the numbers on the screen are kind of difficult to read, right? And that's, that's gonna be an issue for me because I'm often working in a setting that doesn't have a lot of light. So I think that would be a big issue for me. I like look for a different calculator, right? Another thing to do is just reinforce the behavior and thank participants when they give it a go. At a natural pause in the test, like maybe right after the first tasks, say something like, by the way, the way you're sharing your thoughts out loud is really helpful. Thank you for doing that. Usually they kind of chuckle and they'll say something like, Oh good, I didn't know because it feels really weird to do that. That little simple exchange just builds their confidence and encourages them to keep it up. Finally, you can always prompt them a little along the way if they get quiet for too long. These lulls in thinking aloud can happen when a participant is just busy thinking. If you're curious what's going on inside their head, just ask them. Say, and what are you thinking now? Did you have any reaction to that? That encouragement reminds them just how helpful it is to keep going. Even though thinking aloud is not a natural behavior, its advantages are big. When you wanna encourage participants to verbalize their thoughts, just remember to explain what thinking aloud is and why it's useful, reinforce it early and show gratitude when people do it, and prompt participants to keep verbalizing along the way. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.